So 2021 was the year of the big lie. But with the House Select Committee preparing to open the new year with public hearings regarding the insurrection, 2022 will be the year of the big truth. And 2022 will also be the year of accountability. Because justice matters. Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. Happy New Year, everyone. Yes, I'm a little dressed up, but can I let you in on a secret? This gutter kid from Jersey never has owned a tux, but I do have a bow tie. No, it's not a black tie. As you can see, it's a black and blue tie. And somehow, black and blue seems appropriate to ring out the old year, 2021 because we're all a little black and blue. America is beat up, bruised, battered, but we're still standing. But there's no doubt that 2021 was the year of the big lie, Donald Trump's big lie. But what does 2022 hold in store? Well, this from the Washington Post. Headline, Committee investigating January 6 attack plans to begin a more public phase of its work in the new year. The House committee investigating the January 6 attack on the Capitol plans to begin holding public hearings in the new year to tell the story of the insurrection from start to finish while crafting an ample interim report on its findings by summer as it shifts into a more public phase of its work. The committee has taken in a massive amount of data, interviewing more than 300 witnesses, announcing more than 50 subpoenas, obtaining more than 35,000 pages of records, and receiving hundreds of telephone leads through the January 6 tip line. So 2021, the year of the big lie, may have started with Donald Trump commanding his supporters to go to the Capitol and stop the steal, and friends, the beauty of Donald Trump using that word, it provides definitive evidence of Donald Trump's lie. Why? Because his own administration said there was no steal. So 2021 may have started with Donald Trump's big lie, but it's ending with the Department of Justice in the thick of a criminal investigation arresting, indicting, and prosecuting the foot soldiers of the insurrection. And that represents phase one of the investigation, as is always the case in a large conspiracy investigation. It's, it's exactly how we go about investigating conspiracies, gang cases, enterprise cases, RICO cases. You start at the bottom and you build. You work your way up. And yes, DOJ has been on phase one for a long time, but friends, they will move on to phase two and phase three in the new year. They're not gonna stop at the foot soldiers. I suspect they're already involved in a robust investigation of the planners, the organizers, the funders, and the insiders. So yes, the big lie may have dominated 2021, but with the House Select Committee promising public hearings, it is the big truth that will dominate 2022. The big lie has met its match. And remember friends, the House Select Committee has already talked about criminal referrals. In 2022, the House Select Committee will be making criminal referrals to the Department of Justice of Trump and company. And that will actually converge with what the Department of Justice will already be doing, investigating its way up the insurrection ladder. And those two things will combine, making 2022 the year not only of the big truth, but the year of accountability. 
because justice matters. Friends, thank you for staying with me through another year of a wild ride. We are all in this mess together, and together we will get through it. We will get to a better place for America. I'm sure of it. Happy New Year, all. Please stay safe. Please stay tuned. And I look forward to talking with you all again tomorrow.